I can't believe how quickly the month of August has finished. I must admit though, the beginning of the month was a little bit draggy. However, towards the end of the month, it finished so quickly, I didn't even realise where the month has gone. And here we are now, doing another monthly favourite. Last month, there were a few things that I enjoyed, and there's three things that I want to share with you. The first is a game, and the second one is an activity, and the final one is a movie. First one is the Monopoly deal. Now this is very very similar to the traditional Monopoly itself, but it's far quicker. This game only takes about 20 minutes for each game and you can have a maximum of 5 players with a minimum of 2 players at a time. As you can see, mine is really really well loved. I bought this in 2015 when I was stuck in Malaysia for a couple of months because I was waiting for my spouse visa to come through before I could come back to the UK at that point. Since I was staying on my own, I used to go to my cousin's house quite a lot. And while I was growing up, my cousins and I loved playing board games so much. And my nephew is the same as well. So every time I went to their house, I think I went there about five days in a week. And every time we went, this was our activity after dinner, we would sit and play some sort of a board game every day. And we really, really enjoyed it. So I went out to the shops looking for some sort of different board games and I found this there. You need to shuffle the entire deck of cards first and draw 5 cards per person. When you start the game, um, you need to draw 2 cards first and then you have to drop down 3 cards whenever it is your turn. You can't drop any more than that. You can drop lesser than 3 cards if you wanted to and you can only have 7 cards maximum at hand at any given time and when you want to play when it's your turn you can only swap and um, you know use the cards on the floor and not the ones at hand. In order to win this game you must have three full sets and then it's game over. In this entire deck there are a few property cards, you have a few wild cards as well to help you win and there are some action cards on there. The best ones are always the deal breaker and the force deal because you can either swap or steal someone else's um, property in order to win or you can steal someone's entire set of property with the deal breaker unless that person has a just say no action card. You also have a lot of rent cards when you know like hotels and houses which increases the rent and you have a few things where you collect more money from people. If you've ran out of money in your bank, you need to give your property away. That's how this game works. I like this game a lot. That Lakshman and I used to play it a lot with ourselves. When we have guests or friends over at home, we play this with them after dinner. And we play this with our family a lot. I take this back to Glasgow. I played this in Malaysia with my cousins a lot. That's when I started anyways. And even when I went to India two years ago, I bought a new set in fact. I wanted one with the plastic casing, um, as in like a proper box sort of a thing, so that it won't be damaged like this box is. So I bought that here. I think it was either Argos or Amazon that I bought it from. I'll search for it and leave a link to it. It's about £7 when you buy it here. When I bought this in Malaysia, it was about 21 ringgits there. Um, I bought that and I took it to India. My cousins in India loved it so much that we left that set with them there in my grandparents' house. So every time anyone goes back to my grandparents' house, they will then play that there. It's a lot to do with strategy and thinking and planning also. There's a little bit to do with the kind of cards that you get and how you shuffle also. But overall, it's a very interesting game. It's really nice if you've not played this before. I would highly, highly recommend it. It's so easy to travel with, really interesting, well worth your money and your time. Trust me on that. And the next one that I've been spending a lot of time on this month is colouring. You know, a couple of years ago, colouring came in trend. It was a stress buster. It was really good for adults especially. You know, there was a lot of books uh, in the bookshop for adult colouring books and things like that. At that point, I didn't get the deal of it. I didn't even bother thinking about it, I didn't buy it. As a child while I was growing up, I loved colouring, I really enjoyed that. But somehow as an adult, I didn't really pick it up at all. I bought this somewhere around Christmas time last year, if I'm not mistaken. A group of organisation had come to our church and they were selling a few Christian materials and stuff like t-shirts and music, CDs and um, books and this was one of them. I found it really interesting and I thought, okay, let's just give it a go. Um, I've seen it many, many years before and I never tried it, but a lot of my friends who actually used it have said that it was really helpful. I bought it 
And then I bought a set of colour pencil. It was really, really cheap colour pencil, so it didn't colour really well. It was really faint and it wasn't nice at all. I stopped using it. I put it away in my drawers and I never even looked at it at all. And then after that, I went on and bought another set of colour pencil. This is from The Works. You can use it as a watercolour as well. I've not used it as a watercolour yet. But the colour is really good in this. The payoff is really good. Um, I started a little bit. For some reason, I got really busy and I completely forgot about it. It went back into my drawers and I didn't take it out at all. But last month, I wouldn't say I was really stressed. But, you know, the beginning of the month was a little bit draggy for me. And I was just clearing out some of my, my drawers and stuff and I found this. And I found this colour pencil. I had completely forgotten that I actually had this set all together. So I took it out, left it on my desk. Um, in the evenings, there were times where I was kind of bored, I didn't want to do anything else at all. I didn't want to study, I didn't want to read a book, I didn't want to go out for walks. It was a little bit more rainy also this month. So I started colouring. And I must say, I actually enjoyed it and I was surprised. It kind of completely took my mind off whatever was weighing me down or whatever was, you know, bothering me. I just focused on colouring and it's therapeutic. I, I never thought I would say this, but colouring is actually therapeutic and it's interesting. The first one is a little bit dull and light, but the ones after that was so much more better. I kind of messed up this one here because I kind of miscalculated the boxes and everything because I was talking on the phone and I wasn't paying attention to this. So I just need to figure this out and you know try and erase the blue and color orange in it so it doesn't look so bad. It's really nice. It takes a long time though for me. I am, I don't know if I'm just slow or it takes a long time because of the details in there, but it's really good. You're in no hurry to finish it. You don't need to rush to do something. It's just meant to be therapeutic. It's meant to calm you down. It's meant to remove stress and it's meant to release tension as well. And that's exactly what it did. So I would recommend it if you're looking for something to do so you can get your mind off something which is weighing you down. And the last one that I want to talk about is a movie that I saw last month. It's on Disney Plus. It's called The One and Only Ivan. It's about a 400 pound silverback gorilla who was captured. Um, he was probably rescued actually. He was rescued from the wild and he grew up in a circus. He had friends who were elephants and a dog and man actually and people and he was well loved in the circus. Everyone loved each other. It was a truly truly heartwarming movie. The more I talk about it, I'm going to give you spoilers about the movie. I don't want to. It's really nice. It's heartwarming. It's, it's a true story. It's actually based on a bestseller from 2013. I don't remember the author's name, but it's from a book. And it's really interesting how his journey was. I don't want to tell you what exactly it is, but this gorilla is not what every other gorilla looks like um, in the zoos that you've ever seen before, you know. He's really, really different. He's more human than a gorilla that we normally see or learn about in National Geography and things like that. When I started watching this on TV, I thought it's going to be something about a circus. I enjoyed going to a circus when I was really young and then as I grew older, I thought it wasn't really a nice thing to do because it was, you know, cruel towards animal and everything, but this was entirely different. And it's so heartwarming that it talks about friendship. It reaches out to you, you know, about people's people or even animals' personality and their mindset and their thinking and everything. It's really nice. It's not just one of those regular animal shows that you would watch somewhere else. You must watch it. I even teared a little bit here and there. But it keeps you gripped trying to figure out what actually happens. So there are times where you feel sad with him. You actually feel his emotions when he's happy, when he's excited, when he's upset, when he's fearful, when he's worried. You, you can actually feel all of the emotions and the animals were so cute. There was a baby elephant that joined their whole troop um, and the dog was that was his best friend who always slept on his belly. You must let me know if you've seen it and how you felt about it. That's about it for last month's favourite. Three simple things but truly, truly helpful 
and truly interesting I must say. If you do ever get any one of these things, I'll try and leave links to these below in the description box. So if you do ever get any one of these things and you enjoyed it as much as I did, please let me know. I would love to know and I would love to hear your feedback as well. So that's about it for this video. I will see you again next week with something else. Bye!